In this video I'm going to explain anti-skating on a Techniques 1200, what it does, why you should use it, how you should set it for DVS or any other kind of playback. Big up Sacramento DJ Alliance. Every time I show up to one of my gigs, someone on the weekly rotation has moved this anti-skate over to three. And I don't think that they fully understand what the anti-skate does, which prompted me to make this video. So I'm going to give a brief example of how it works. Skating is the natural movement of a tone arm from the outside of the platter to the center. The tone arm, I have the cover on the needle so it doesn't mess things up. But I'll show you right here. The tone arm is going to naturally skate to the center of the platter like that and if the tone, mark, tone arm is correctly calibrated it will move to the center on its own just like that and that inward force is called skating right that's what the skating term actually comes from now you want this needle to naturally skate to the center because if it didn't as the needle started moving more towards the center, as it's riding the groove of the record more towards the center, you're going to have a force pushing out, which means as the needle gets closer to the center, that outward force could cause the needle to skip on the record as it moves more towards the center of the record. The needle's going to want to skip backwards, and um, the skating force should naturally want it to ride the groove all the way to the center of the record. Now, some records have a lot of information on one side, like an LP with five songs on one side. And in that situation, the groove of the record is pushed really close together. So sometimes this natural skating force can cause the needle to skip forward if the force is too much inward on a record that has a lot of information on one side. So in this situation, that is when you would apply the anti-skate. You'll see, as I adjust the anti-skate, the needle is going to move its way back the other direction. See how it just went backwards the other direction? So skating goes one way, I move this thing, and look, the needle's skating the opposite direction. So now that you have an understanding of what skating is and what the anti-skate does, if you're using a DVS record, the record is not a very compact uh, amount of information on one side so you actually want to keep your skating at a natural setting which is zero so that the needle naturally moves to the center of the platter having the anti-skate on for a DVS record is incorrect and will cause playback issues from that turntable especially as the needle starts to get more towards the center of the DVS control record so there you go, that's anti-skate explained. General rule is if you're playing a 12 inch single or a DVS record, you're gonna to wanna to keep this thing right around zero. And if you're playing some LP that has five songs on one side of the record, you might wanna start moving it in closer towards the three, probably never a full on three. But, you know, sometimes if you have a record that has a lot of information on one side, you're going to adjust the anti-skate to keep the needle from skipping. There you go. That's it. And that's all.